Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back Cyber Angels. Thank you very much for your likes and shares. I do appreciate it. It gives me a, a lovely feeling to know that you do watch and that you just leave a little reaction behind uh, to let you let me know that you have watched. Great, thank you. And welcome to new viewers and um, that have landed on the page please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you should be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded as I go live Monday Wednesday and Friday um, sorry about this uh, I've done so many videos now and uh, I did do uh, Virgo uh, before but it went wrong uh, with editing so I had to scrap it so that's why I'm doing it again okay now uh, um, I'm, ta I'm doing them month by month now because I've taken the first three with the most likes and Capricorn came in with 276 and then Pisces with 96 and Gemini with 86 and they're quite deep and it's like some in some of them a lot of business is coming through uh, and deep messages so um, if you if this doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign okay and please share and like with family and friends and if you're new then please join us in the live sessions because it is awesome in the tea room okay we call it the tea room just grab your cup of coffee or your cup of tea and come and join in. I give free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker. If you would like to have an extensive reading then you will find the information below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner. Just click on that white circle with I then you then a picture appears of an angel click on the angel and it will take you to my website now I am going to start a new series with Wendy in the autumn and it's going to be really exciting the Dutch witch and Charlie that's me uh, I'm going to start we'll most probably you uh, call the series different we'll have to give it a different title than uh, Charlie's Angels and the Dutch Witch <laughs> but it is of interest I'm waiting for some material to arrive that we are going to use and it is interesting to anybody that loves nature that loves uh, be, uh, discovering new knowledge uh, about uh, let's say homeopathy or vegetables or how to cook or how to make a list or how to do meditation all those kind of things and also um, uh, about uh, it would be interested for vacants and pagans and witches obviously because <coughs> I'm collaborating with Wendy who is a Dutch witch now let's get started with your romance reading for August 2020 the first card you have Virgo is codependency so if this is not you this could be your partner or your potential partner addictions are affecting your romantic life this could be that they are gaming at night and then they <laughs> you can't get when you go to bed there is nobody there um, this could be that gaming is taking uh, their life over and is excluding you and you're not seeing that could be because of the COVID virus that they found a new interest gaming um, and they are totally hooked on this gaming lark okay you because you can't go out together and now things are easing up I hope it will turn around let's see if it will turn around if this is not you a codependency means that they are also depending on you you are their backbone no you have both have to be individual and you have to stand in your own strength a relationship doesn't mean to say that you can depend that the other half is going to do the cooking the cleaning bringing in the money no a relationship is giving and taking sharing and share alike equilibrium and keeping the balance respect each other 
I know you've got a life, they've got a life, but you've got a life together. And you have to bring that and work that, bring that together every day and work it every day. A relationship is also a job. It doesn't happen by itself. So if somebody is codependent on you or you are com uh, or they are codependent on something and leaving you out, this doesn't only have to be drugs or alcohol. It could be burning the candle at both ends. It could be gaming. It could be they are in the garden, whether it's rain or sunshine. They are gardening. Doesn't matter. They might have a shed and the man, how do you call it? The manhole. Okay, the man, man, man cave. Well, if they are spending too much time in the man cave, get them out of there. And say so, say something about it. There is a new beginning. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Perhaps somebody in, um, in the relationship is codependent on working. They're working hard and hard because they want more money, because they want something big, a new house to go on holiday. Woof! So they are codependent on money, perhaps, if they are not codependent on you. So get them out of their man cave or woman cave. <laughs> okay. Now, a woman could be sitting in her little den, um, sewing or knitting or doing embroidery or writing books or flogging or anything like that. So get them away and start doing something together that is uh, that has durability and long lasting because this is also if you are starting a relationship yeah it could be a new relationship with potential durability and long term but you don't want to start with somebody that is codependent on you or on a substance or vice versa and I was just going to say get some help tell them to go and get some help Ah, if you are hooked up and somebody is codependent yes you need to seek advice okay there will be luck this card means luck in business so if you work at it like I said a relationship is a job there will be luck but you, it has to come from both sides you you have to both you both have to twig it and change it adapt to it be flexible now um, but if you, you if you are going to seek advice this could be from a mature man a father figure or uh, a professional like a marriage guidance counselor or a relationship counselor um, if you are hooked up then uh, this this has to change because you did go into the relationship for long term and durability but sometimes things happen like the COVID and we get locked down we're not allowed to go outside and we find other things to do so somebody might have just got codependent or addicted to gaming or sitting in his man cave or his the woman in her den <laughs> so you have a relationship takes two to tango you know <laughs> it doesn't happen by itself if you're not hooked up then seek help before you get hooked up you don't want to be stuck in drudgery it doesn't matter how much you love a person if you really love a person that is codependent or has a, an addiction or if it isn't you then it won't help the relationship the relationship will not survive you've got 30 so be creative heart-to-heart -heart conversations yes you need heart-to-heart -heart conversations if you've got somebody in a relationship that is addictive whether it's you or them okay honestly discuss your feelings with each other heart-to-heart -heart conversations you might have to bring in help okay I'm going to put that there okay then the next card is celebrations I think they will be happy to work with you to save this relationship or to get this relationship started now yesterday what did I hear yesterday yesterday I was speaking to a friend of mine 
and they told me a story that there was a girl, a young woman, and she uh, what, she was stuck on drugs when she was 20. She met somebody and they took her off the drugs. They helped her to get through getting off the drugs. And that is amazing. Um, but the 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 person her partner that uh, uh, helped her through this situation is the boss he she is codependent on him and he thinks that he can boss her about no that shouldn't be right nobody is allowed to boss anybody about in a relationship or manipulate them the family she can't go and see her family she is totally blinded by this partner so no everybody needs freedom within the relationship but there will be um, celebrations they might kick the habit and see that y they're not the only one <coughs> that sorry they're not the n that they're that they are doing something wrong and they might start celebrating with you because they are you've had this heart to heart conversation and you are both celebrating with family and friends just remember the story that I've just told you you can work it through you can kick the habits bad habits it could be coming home late from the office it could be anything like that burning the candle at both ends and leaving your partner in the lurch okay okay your ships are coming in so that means abundance is coming in this could be money this could be love because like I said somebody might be coming home late from the office and because you've had a heart-to-heart -heart talk and you want to save this relationship if you're hooked up or if you're going to start this you want to start this relationship they have to kick the habit first and know that you are there you want to be with them and they should be with you if that is what they want they most probably have to choose but there will be celebrations so there could be money coming in or this new uh, new uh, relationship with a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus and these these are cups but this is not a major card okay Virgo so remember this could also be you that has an addiction and you want lots of money because you want to move on but you can't move on if the partnership or relationship fails then you're on your own and it's not nice to be on your own if you've been hooked up you want to stay hooked up it doesn't matter you know you have to keep the balance between the home front and at work it's not easy in the third week you have romantic feelings well we are in Leo so Leo is action passion creativeness uh, and logic use your logic yes be creative don't take work home with you if you can home is home you also need your recreation you need your love life you need your partner you need your rest you need to relax if you want to go out for a walk on your own you need to be able to do that don't take your work home with you family is important <coughs> if you keep on working your family will fall away if you don't give them attention it's like the tower card in the Lenaman. it's okay to be ambitious and to want to reach the top but don't forget your uh, loved ones your nearest and dearest because when you reach the top you might have reached the top in the material world but that can fall away just as quick as a relationship can okay you have to work at both don't forget that <coughs> like I said romantic feelings your feelings might be stirred because you're uh, celebrating your boat has come in whether it's love or money and poof, you had this heart to heart and now you know how they feel about you you are loved and this has stirred your romantic feelings so new passion new love even if you're hooked up you might have this up moment because every relationship 
and also life has its up and downs so this is could be a passionate month for you Virgo your wish is coming true now it couldn't be more positive positive so learn that addictions don't serve you or your partner your family unit you have to share and give and take and have heart to heart sometimes so that you can celebrate being together that you can celebrate life together and what you have yes you are rich if you have a beautiful relationship and it is as sound as a pound your wish is coming true if you're not hooked up then you will meet somebody because somebody is going to stir your romantic feelings in the third week you might be separated time apart from your partner is on the horizon yes if you <coughs> excuse me it is summertime so they if you're not hooked up they might be going away with their family and on holiday whoa it's not a permanent relationship a uh, breakup separation sorry it's not a permanent separation it if you are hooked up it could also be a business trip okay now if you um if somebody has an addiction and they haven't worked through it yet um, or they have and they are you know how do you say that let's take it if somebody has an addiction it's okay to kick it but they will always be addicted to something and it is very difficult to leave a habit behind even whether it's just smoking or not it might have separated you for a while but you might have been together in the same house but you felt and you might have felt separated sorry so now you are coming back together again because your boat is coming in your wish is coming true there's new passion and love and care and nurturing towards each other they've you've you or they will have an other perspective a second chance discretion be discreet don't bring it up all the time just keep the love going and the balance take it step by step you've got an other perspective on your partner as well you know that they will work to be a to be a unit and that you can celebrate from time to time <coughs> and that you can do it on in different ways as well this means a new beginning so after a separation it might feel really like a new beginning or a second chance like I said because it is summertime and it is Leo time it's action creativeness and passion this is the month that most people are the most passionate because it's the sun and the summer are so energizing and rejuvenating and look at this you're going to get news perhaps you might be getting married after a temporary separation somebody could be away in the force they might be in the army or the marines and they <coughs> have to go and they come back your wish is coming true new love new start new beginning perhaps the next level Wow now you've got an action card because you've got the red card stop procrastinating no more excuses make a start yes make a start both of you take action to make this relationship long-lasting and stable this could be with an air sign or a water sign because you've got two aces two new beginnings you've got 16 7 good luck be creative two threes the angels have your back ask for help don't shy away from help okay this could be official news or just news from your loved one when he is away there will be an ending the, he is coming back the time has come that the separation has come is coming to an end whoa angel Michael respectfully states 
no more excuses it is time to be productive so it is time to stop with the addiction somebody might be addicted and they might have been away they might have been separated gone to a, a clinic to get help to kick the habit could be drugs could be alcohol it could be uh, also codependency on something else I believe there are special institutions now to stop people gaming or being on the computer so don't stop give it a second chance okay give the relationship a second chance don't put any don't uh, what I'm do here is don't sign any contracts yet this could be official papers they might ask you to get married but wait wait one step at a time if somebody's kicked the habit then see whether they have and whether you can live with the way they are now because they will change they will just have learned uh, an other face okay an other facet of life because remember a fox sheds its fur but not its tricks you can teach a dog new tricks but the old ones will still be there so see whether the old old habit has gone or whether they can manage it or whether you can manage it before you take the next step I know it doesn't sound sound positive but there are positive cards on the table very positive cards don't shy away from help there is help long term and it has durability and it will stand you in good stead you don't have to feel alone and you have to be in balance within the relationship then everything abundance will come into the relationship and it will feel that you can celebrate with each other and family and friends and your wish will have come true true love and true passion true nurturing true caring a new beginning perhaps an other be new beginning in a present relationship like I said a second chance you might go then when you feel secure and you know that everything is in balance you can take the next step okay so stop making excuses stop stalling for time this could be you or your partner I hope um, I've given you some food for thought if this reading doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign and Virgo I hope to see you in the life and if not in the next reading thank you take care stay safe and enjoy August ciao ciao